hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to load how to use ray motion pro animation with your own frame by frame animation in between so here we will begin by loading animation like pocket from ray motion pro library and then we will add our own animation on top of it after that we will animate our frame by frame animation like jumping and then after that we will load working after our own frame by frame animation to it to make it sync with our own frame by frame animation so here i'm going to show you how to do that okay so for, let me reset my rig here you can see my rig has is in fk mode okay right now it's in fk so i'm going to load animation working okay so let me load working so load working Okay, so this and we have this so let me go to frame 25 uh 26 i'm going to load working and record so let me load it three times so i have this continuous working forward animation like this um i want the character to look looking around so what i'm going to do is i want to select the head one well, when i select the head you can see we have all these keyframes here and each bone has its own keyframes okay so I'm going to select the head bone and we can see it keyframes here. So I want to have rotate the head. So I need to select the head bone and the neck. Okay, so where I want the character to start rotate the head from frame 10. So I'll go to frame 9 and I'm going to select all the keyframes from here to maybe 70 or where you want the head rotation to be end. Okay, or you can just delete all the keyframes. So here I'm going to just delete all these ones. Okay, so on frame 15. I want the character to look uh to look left okay or to look on his right side like this okay so right now i'm going to use location rotation and scale one and i press i to insert keyframe so on here you can see the character will look on his, his left side okay like this and it will slowly blend to here because these keyframes the character was looking forward so it will make it look so far so if you want the character continue to look this side what you can do is go to frame 20 select that keyframe make sure it has highlight yellow like this press ctrl plus c go to frame here and ctrl plus v and you can see it's going to have the same points okay so what you want the character to also look another direction like uh, i want to look here um si to insert keyframe so here look and turn to the side okay and i want you to look up or i can select the frame 30 move it to frame 40 and i'll go to frame 30 here and i'm going to make the character look up so we're going to be and then turn okay so this is what we have go here so i'm going to select the handbook also i want the character to raise their hands up while walking so what I'm going to do is let me go to maybe frame 15. I'm going to select all the hand bone, this one and uh, um, um this one. Okay, the shoulder. So I'm going to select all this and delete it to frame 60. Okay, so let's go here. I'll go to frame 25. I'm going to raise the hands up like this. I'm going to select all those bones like this and I to insert keyframe. So you can see it will raise the hands and I start blending to this one. Okay. I'll go to my if you're here, I'm using auto repro, it is the same method for rectified. Okay, so I'm going to select the leg bone. Send the leg bone and FK. I'm going to send them to IK. I'm going to switch them into IK for better animating okay so here before you switch go to your tools and here i'm going to insert keyframe for this and select the uh the right foot i'm going to insert keyframe let's go to frame 60, uh, 76 i'm going to send them to fk and then insert keyframe uh, to ik and then switch to ik and insert keyframe so right now the legs are in ik here you can see all here in ik in fk sorry in fk but when we reach here it's going to be straight to ik so that's all we have 
so what i'm going to do is i'm going to continue our animation like stop working so i'm going to put the foot here okay i want to make the character stop working so i'm going to put the foot here uh, this one i can shift the width to this side okay so here Okay, let me use auto key so that it will automatically insert key. Okay. Here it jumped because of the IK research. Okay, so I'm going to put this one here and you have something like this. Let me bring this one here. Okay, so right now we have the animation all in IK. Okay, so we have this and that. Okay, so let me move here. Select all and insert keyframe. Okay, so set keyframe here. Maybe this one. So here I'm going to make the character jump up. So what I'm going to do is let me go to maybe frame here and I'm going to do something like this and rotate the hands. So this is just quick animation I'm doing. Okay. So I'm going to rotate the hands up like this. This this one. And I can bend the chest. Okay. Let me use uh, individual origin. Okay, and then insert key fit. Okay, let me get it. So I'm going to open this one small. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to up and I'm select this to move it. Okay, so I'm going to move this one up and I'm going to move this one small here. And here I'll, I'll go down. Okay, I'm going to make it go down to here again. Okay, so I'm going to select all these. Make sure I insert keyframe. I'm going to copy this and I can go here, paste it here. Okay, so let me see what I have. So before the character coming down, make sure um, the leg needs to come down first. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, select this, shift, select other bones, 
and here i'm going to copy all this and paste it here so that the leg other one need to come down first okay so we take this uh okay okay uh, this one I need to copy this. This is here. Okay, so here they will come down, but it's going to be small. Okay. Also, for the landing, the leg supposed to be. On the ground first okay so i'm going to do this i'm going to be like this okay so check It's a key frame here. You set all this in the frame, okay? So now it's like this, okay? So you set all these lines uh, for a little bit here, okay? Okay, so here let me add some animation to the hands like here. Only has to go up like okay. <clears throat> up. So like this one. So right now I have admission like this. Let me save. I have working, turning, and then here stop. Okay. And jump. Okay. So here I'm going to load another animation to the character. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll go to here, going to insert keyframes. And I want to select the leg bone. I'm going to insert keyframe on here. So like this, insert keyframes. I'll go here. Uh, I'm going to switch to FK. Okay. So I'm going to click on this one. Snap to FK. Snap to FK. So from here going, now the FK is the one going to take control. So here is IK. And I reach here fk boom, and I up to ike so right now i can go here select the character let me go to the motion pro and i can load walking walking again okay so let me just walk and i can carry a pull and we have this and the character continue to walk from where it ended okay so this is what we have can use the blending to blend between the keyframes okay so let's go here start go to blend
because of the ik and fk switch i'm going to select these three bones with here okay so we can see a blended okay and we have this okay so this is how you can add your own animation so right now i can go here and load maybe running okay i'm not running to it okay so i'm going to load running going to look running uh, this look run i'm uh, going to make a report so let's see let me bring it down yeah now so now let's test the full animation okay so here we have the walking turn the head and the hands and here stop walking which is our own animation jump land jump and land and then we have it's back yeah the reason why this one jump is because of uh, this one okay so i'm going to select all these parts i want to blend it okay so like this i'm going to blend using the blending okay So want to land and start walking so this what you have okay so walking turn the hands stop walking okay stop walking jump and then start walking and run so this animation from the library our frame by frame animation walking okay so this is how you can use to add your own animation to it okay if you have your character you can hold your own animation to the animation you just load and also load animation in front of it and it's going to work so that's how it is.